Welcome back, Chiefs fans, to Over 50. The Kansas City Chiefs just got drubbed by the Tennessee Titans. And if you were looking for something positive to come out of my mouth, um, you might want to go do another video. Because I have nothing positive to say. Because there was nothing positive about this game. I had thought about trying to put a humorous attempt at this. But then I thought that... Um, in order for it to be humorous, that means there had to be something funny about it. There's nothing funny about it when the whole game from start to finish was a complete and utter disaster. And I'm cleaning up my language there because I could have probably used another word, but it would have probably irritated some people. But um, let's just start with the defense. Um, the defense was horrible for the most part. I mean, they held Derrick Henry in check, but um, unfortunately they made Ryan Tannehill look like league MVP. I mean, they made Ryan Tannehill look like he's the new age Tom Brady or something like that. I mean, he was like 21 or 27. The only thing he had that he did wrong was Willie Gay kind of baited him into an interception at the end. I mean, Tannehill obviously didn't see him. And, you know, that was it. So, I think that Steve Spagnuolo has coached his last game. I'm not going to say that it's all on Spags this game because everybody, oh, I've got a little bit for everybody. I've even got a little something for special teams, but I'll save that till the end. This whole game was, I mean, nobody did good. I mean, I'm not even going to get into the coaching of it, but the defense has been a problem since the beginning of the season. They appear to have fixed the stuff against a 2-4 and four Washington team with Taylor to keep quarterback and I'm sorry but I told you one game does not a defense make and our defense is not any good so Spags needs to go um, Dave Tobe is an assistant head coach and special teams coach I say let him do both jobs for the rest of the season I mean he's been interviewed for head coaching positions Spags it was nice knowing you don't let the door hit you where the good lord splits you now for the offense um, the offense, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the offense was even worse. And the offense has been a complete and utter, utter abomination the last two or three weeks. I mean, at one point in time in this game, the Chiefs had 12 snaps. The Titans had 36. Now that puts your defense in a really bad spot. That's why I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm backing a little bit off the defense and I'm not going to, I'm not going to trash them completely. But... Um, you just can't do that. That's given the Titans a three to one ratio. I mean, you could put, I mean, you could suit up the best college team and give them three plays to your every one, and I think you might have trouble. Well, that's probably not an accurate assessment, but I mean, you can't do this to professional teams. You cannot give them. That kind of an opportunity. It's just ridiculous. And Orlando Brown. Man, Orlando Brown, man. He... I mean, I... I he, he... He got beat so bad. I, I'm just... I'm in my mind. All these things I wanted to say. And it's just like, nope, that's probably not a good thing to say. Nope, that's not a good thing to say either. I mean, you know, he just... I mean... You know what? He got beat down worse than Kimbo Slice did in that match when he was supposed to fight Ken Shamrock and he had to fight some other guy. And that guy came out and ran towards him and went like this <laughs> with his hands. And that was it for Kimbo Slice. Down in like 11 seconds, he's got cuts all over his face and stuff. Orlando Brown got owned. And he's the left tackle of the future? Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Right now, um, I'm saying let's give that money to the Honey Badger. Let's give, that to Tyler, let's give that to Tyron Matthew. And we'll worry about left tackle later. we got to address that in the draft. We'll address that in the draft. I don't know. But he got beat. It was ridiculous. Holmes almost got decapitated at the end of the game. I mean, thank goodness the last report I saw was no concussion. So he's not in concussion protocol. So that means he's available for the Giants game. Um, I'll come back to that. Tyreek Hill. 
Um, can I mean we can't put Velcro on the ball, but could could we line it, line his hands with some kind of substance? I mean, you can't do the Lester Hayes stick him thing, you know. But there's got to be something out there that can, you know. What? How about this? How about focus? How about catch the ball and then run with it? We all know you're fast. Nobody's denying that. And when you got the ball in your hand, you can outrun anybody. The key is, with that statement, you got to have the ball in your hands. The ball on the ground doesn't do any good. I mean, it's just it just feels like every week Tyreek is dropping something on the ground or it's getting tipped up and intercepted. Um, and today that was Byron, Byron Pringle. The ball hit him and it was picked off by the Titans. So, you know, that's my rant on the offense. I told you, I had a little something for special teams, and I do. But, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get on Butker for missing a 57-yard field goal because 57-yard field goal, I mean, yes, it's within his range. We know he can hit it. It was his first miss of the year. But, I mean, you know, when everything else is snowballing and you want to have even some kind of reasonable chance of coming back in a game, you need that field goal. Because when they missed that field goal, sure, the Chiefs are down three scores. Yes, that's three touchdowns and three two-point conversions. The way our offense is playing, no, don't think so. That's the same opportunity that the Jayhawks had of beating Oklahoma this weekend. We all knew how that game was going to turn out. You know, we all knew that Oklahoma had the, had the horses at the end of the game. They were going to be able to be fine and pull it out, and they did. Right now, it's like uh, we don't know who our horses are. Our horses are tired. They're not watered or properly cared for. I don't know. I mean, maybe they need to go out and graze a little bit. But something, I mean, has got to be done. And, that, I mean, it's just a ridiculous. How do you fix things? I've already said it. You fire Spags. Get Spags out of here. I mean, is it was it was this game all on him? No. Everybody was equally crappy. I think I can say crappy without, you know, getting myself in too much hot water here I think I've been pretty good so far because I really wanted to rant and you know really wanted to become unhinged but that's not going to solve anything my home status no concussion we got the Giants on Monday Night Football I don't know that that's a good thing I'm thinking if I'm the Giants they're going to be looking at this and saying hey you know what let's just do what Tennessee did Kansas City can't rush nobody they can't cover nobody. Okay, they can stop the run. They've got that fixed. Okay, let's just throw on them. I mean, so, you know, something's got to be done. I think Andy Reid needs to shake things up. And um, when the Chiefs get back to Kansas City, I would immediately go and I would pack Spag's stuff for him and send him on his way. But that's all I've got. Nothing positive to say. So maybe... Uh, well, I'll be giving a, a preview of what we I think we need to do to get back to 500 again. But uh, three and four, um, you know, people said, well, we're not a Super Bowl contender. I don't even think we're a playoff contender, okay? I mean, you know, we, we, we're not even, we don't even have those kind of talks. Not until things get fixed and the ship gets righted. So until next time, if there is a next time, because who knows, um, later.